searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Mist Survival. All right, I went ahead and spent the afternoon and the night getting back to my house. I actually went ahead and made a uh, a storage cabinet so I didn't have to try to bring one back. And I made myself a bed. Finally, I made a bed. But I think water needs to be my primary thing. We need to get this figured out. Water, I'll get my water sources taken out. Then I need to get a fire made. I need to start thinking about sustainable ways of food and stuff so all these storage can i i can get rid of this let me go and get rid of this because things in my way and i'll get some wood from it which adequate acceptable now that's something i hadn't shown in the game yet you can actually break stuff down i can break down this um uh, storage cabinet right here if i wanted to i think you can even break down this but there's been another update to the game and something else you can break down is static cars. So that means the the vehicles that you can't loot. Let me run up here, I'll show you one. I'm not gonna, I've already broken one down. It's like a loot pinata of scrap metal and components. So if you're really in need of components and scrap metal, come over to a car like this, the ones that you can't loot. Nothing you can do with this car and you can break it down. Keep hitting it, you'll open it up and, or it'll, it'll bust apart and you'll get a lot of scrap metal and a lot of components. Wait a minute, I'll use this bag. Let's see if there's, I can, okay, so I can break this down. What am I gonna get out of it though? I wonder. Wood out of a bag, okay. Can't break that down, not that. I walk right through it. That's not even really there. <laughs> oh, well. Um, oh, these. Now, this would... Ah, it'd be nice if I could break that thing down because I keep hitting them with my car and that's going to destroy my vehicle. Now, I did get my car back here. There's the farm down there. I need to go down there eventually, but I need to be ready for it. I was able to get this one emptied, but yeah, this is... This is my storage problem. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff stored here. And I haven't started making half the stuff that I actually need. I don't have any cordage made. For this game, cordage is... That tree re respawn? I don't know. I don't know if the trees respawn. I don't think it did. Um, You need bark and leaves to make cordage. And I don't have enough of either. But let's go ahead and deal with the water situation. Let's take care of water first. Um, let's drop this stuff in here. I wish stuff stocked a little bit higher. It'd make it a little bit easier on the storage situation, but this place is okay. Um, I might not be able to stay here for too much longer because I keep having a bear literally walk right out of my front porch. And, yeah, that's not going to be conducive to me surviving. But, here is what I'm going to do. Now, the last time, I went ahead and took a, a, a bucket. And I ran down to the water and I ran back up with the bucket. That's wholly in inefficient. It just makes no sense. So, I'm going to take my water storage unit down to the edge of the water and try to fill it up. Try to be smarter than the average bear. Mm-hmm, <laughs> boo-boo. All right. Will this thing sit here? I hope I don't lose it for by doing this, but all right, let's rotate it. Let's see if it if it accepts this placement. Okay. Nice. Let's get my bucket out. Fill up. And interact and give. Oh, that's right. I have to take it into my inventory off the toolbar I have to take it off my out of my hands uh, developer developers I'm not sure I th I've heard something that the uh, that the game might have uh, the guy might have hired more people which is cool you know it's it's good if you're if you're there now can I uh, drink fill bottle unsafe water no see now I can't use my bucket unless it's in my hand 
and it's active. No, 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 no. I don't want to uh, uh, for a cancel. Okay. But I can't I fill up, which is fine. I should be able to interact with this without taking it out of my toolbar. And I have to now see this is annoying. This is going to annoy the ever living. Mm, I don't want to say it, but you know what I'm thinking. This is just horrible. This is horrible that I have to do it like this. Please, developer. I don't know if, you, if you're ever going to watch any of my videos. I'm enjoying the game so far, but this is just... You've got to make this intuitive. I should be able to have the bucket in, be able to click there, and then just be tell it to give, and it'll say, Oh, you're holding a water bucket in your hand filled with water? Well, let's go ahead and put that in the container. That'd be intuitive. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I should find a little bit of a shortcut, but... I have to pull this out, make sure it's off, interact, can I take it from here? Okay, I can do that. So as long as I take it out of my active control, it will work. Oh, got to take it out of here first. That I don't mind, but it's just, you know, make it a little more intuitive. Uh, not such a chore. And turn that off. Okay, okay, we've got a real bit of rhythm here. This is going a lot faster than me running back and forth <laughs> trying to get water. And I know it's like, oh, you know, critical, this is boring. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but it's necessary. Um, we'll do one more, just this last one. That'll get me a little bit over halfway. Now, I am storing water that's unsafe. A commenter told me that if I put water in here and just leave it alone, that it'll eventually become safe. Makes no sense to me, but we're gonna try it. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I gotta place it because I messed up. Here we go. There we go. Um, I really think I need to create the uh, water purifier if I really want fresh water. Now, the it's weird that I can't use like wine bottles and stuff to hold water, but you can't. But you can use regular bottles. All right, let's drop that there. I'm gonna take water out. Now you'll see that it's this green, ugly, dirty water. Let's put my good water bottle away real quick, just to be on the safe side. And I guess I can leave the bucket here. It's probably a good place for it. Now, be buildable, I need to create a... Uh, get out of here. What is... Something's around the house. See? Look at that bear. See how close that bear is to the house? I, it's, um, I don't want to move, but I might have to. Just because of the bear. Just because of the bear. Now, all this, this shelter here does is it allows you to control or have your NPCs near your, your place. But I think we can build our own by making a small cabin. And the requirements are too bad. So I should be, I could make my own small cabin someplace. And depending how much building they allow us to do, if they allow us to build something like this, and I can put it right there on the water's edge. I would live there. I think that'd probably be a good place. But yeah, this place could end up being a problem. But for right now, let's keep going. Um, campfire or a cooking pot. Making boiled water. You know what? I actually need to cook. I can't. I need to make lashing. And I don't think I can make any lashing because I don't have enough tree bark and or leaves. don't have enough even close to being enough i don't think a campfire will do anything for me let me let me try building it i don't know so i need sticks and stones may break my bones I, I i couldn't resist it was there i had to sorry build menu i need two more stones i don't have any stones man oh there you go i got some stones And I guess I'll come out here and build a campfire. I don't know if it's smart putting a campfire on wood, but I want to have it someplace up where I might be away from. So it'll take me 10 minutes to build a campfire. 
place. And I do like the build. I do like the fact that you actually have to build it. And it takes time. I think that's kind of cool. Alright. Fill with wood. Firewood. It's firewood. Of, I think, think this is firewood. It is. Okay. Let's fill with fire. Quick full. Quick fill. Must be already full. Interact. Oh, no, it's not. So put fuel in there. Starter, tinder, or accelerant. And then you have to ignite it. Charcoal. Can I actually cook anything? Now, I happen to have some matches, but ugh, I hate to use my matches because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I do have 16 matches. Uh, split one. I'll just take one match out there. Now, I don't think a match by itself without any tinder. And I think tinder has to be leaves. Or no, it's bark, I think. To start a fire and... No, it's just crafting. And that. Success rate is 60%. Because I'm not using any kind of fuel. Do I have any accelerant that I can use? Low grade biofuel. I think I can use that as an accelerant to give me a better chance. 160% chance. So how about if I take the, the bark away? No, you have to have bark no matter what. Okay. Ignite. Alright, so it used one tree bark, a little bit of my accelerant, and my match. And I've got about four hours of a fire. Alright, so what can I do with the fire? Interact. Charcoal storage. So I can't use this with a pot or anything. There's no cooking with this, huh? Well, then that was a waste of resources. I'll leave it a lit. But I don't think I can actually cook with this. So I needed to make the cooking fire. Okay. I thought you could probably, possibly do something with uh, your standard... Um, just a standard campfire and be able to at least do something with it, but okay, I was wrong. Hey, you guys are learning with me. We're all learning together. So I need tree bark. Let's check the water. Nope, still unsafe. I think I don't think that that was probably a bug and it's no longer gonna be that way. I do like the lighting in the game though. I mean that fire I mean it's not moving like a, a light should from a fire, but it's still a nice color. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I guess I need a lot of tree bark and a lot of leaves. The best way to get that is just to chop down trees, but I'm going to be leaving the trees just laying on the ground, which isn't a problem because I don't think they'll despawn, but maybe I need to find another place to live before I get too settled. This is a nice starter house, but it might not be the place that I want to live in permanently. Let's go explore just a little bit. It's also a looting adventure. Now, I know the farm. Now, the thing is, there's a lot of people playing this game now, which is good. I'm glad the developer is getting um, eyeballs from uh, other YouTubers because I am not that big, and I'm glad that other YouTubers are taking an interest in this. But they've also, you know, built all in the same locations that you would think. Ooh. I know this was down here. Yeah, let me see what's in here. Well, nothing. Or did I already loot this one? Because there's just really nothing here. But I think that's what the small cabin looks like. It gives you the ability to build basically that little small cabin. But being right near a water source, I think, is going to become important. Well, it's always important in games, but very important. I'll take that. Thank you. And that. This is a car that I could break up, but that's it. There's the farm. The farm is central. But I feel like everybody's living at the farm. I don't wanna I don't wanna do what everybody else does. But I really do want to be near Ooh. As I was say, I really wanted a water source, but look at this. This place got walls. 
I'm listening. I want to make sure this isn't a... This might be a bandit place. It's already got walls. Oh, bandits, bandits. I'm not ready for bandits. No. Okay, I I got I think I got lucky he didn't notice. Oh, no, that one noticed me. That bandit noticed me. Yeah, I'm a little too close to the bandits down there. Run toward the far. Oh, God, now I'm out of stamina. Don't do it. I will shoot you in the head. Oh, here's the question. Can I swim in this game? You can swim. I don't know if you can do me any good. Can I dive? No, it doesn't look like I can dive, but I can swim, so that's good. Not that it's going to save me from anything, but... Now, the infected that used to die from the sun, they would drop the, like, little loot pinata things. I That doesn't happen anymore. That's been removed from the game, so... And that was with the la... Ooh, see? I knew they were down here. I think it was with the last update. Now, one of the nice things about living over here... Is there's a forge here. You got an anvil and a forge. Oh, can't take any of that, huh? That's... Okay. Oh, is that rope I can actually take? Oh, come on, B. No. Oh, boy, missed event. Um, I really don't have anywhere to go. Okay. We're gonna go into the barn and try to survive the missed event. <laughs> now... I've had a pretty good record on surviving mist events, but I think they're starting to get harder. One of the uh, update notes is that as you go further into the game, now further than I am right now, obviously, the uh, the mist event is supposed to get harder and harder, and the developer has increased the sight range of the infected, so they can see you a lot easier. But I really need. I don't need that i'm hoping to find some leaves in the general area right here oh 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 there we go a leaf and feathers because i'm gonna need i want to make bow and arrows that's what my plan is to take on the uh the bandits is to use bow and arrow because you guys know i love using bow and arrows in games not any reason to go up there unless I'm trying to hide from infected, but I would actually rather find a few and knife them for their their goodies. Ooh. I love how that the sound just changes. Alright, this is my fallback area. Let's make sure this is all secure. Alright, yeah, this looks good. Let's go hunting and hunting the infected. Oops. Don't want to be running though, I want to be sneaking the whole time. I like the stealth. I like playing a stealth character. That's one thing I'd like to see in a couple other games that I play, and you guys know which one that is, uh, that I would like a stealth mechanic added to it. I think that would give that game a lot of flavor, but that wouldn't be fair to speak about another game while I'm covering this one, so I will mention no names, but you guys know what I'm thinking. That's weird. I usually see infected by now. Even if I am near uh, an area like this, I usually pop out all the woodwork. Oh, what's this? Can I use... No, but I can use that. Now, if there's a, an easy way to get... Well, I think the easiest way to get bark and leaves, honestly, is just to start chopping down trees. But I want it to be in an area that I'm going to be staying in because... I'll just leave those that bark and trees on the ground. I don't have to store them that way. I don't even have to store the ones that I have stored right now. I just left them sitting there to stay there. Wow, I'm not seeing any infected. This is just odd. Don't think I'm bugged. Most of the updates that, well, I've only been playing the game for a little while, but I'll put it this way. Every update that I've seen the developer hasn't broken a save or anything yet. I might just be getting lucky and not seeing infected. Which is going to make a very, very boring... I mean, it is kind of tense. I mean, I'm starting to sweat, boys and girls. But, no, it's 
I just wish there would be something to do. I can't run around though, cause, oh, 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 oh. Feather, nice. This is actually worthwhile. I guess I could try chopping down a tree, but I think that would, you know, cause a ruckus and grab attention. Oh, blueberry, nice. Oh, I'll grab the stick. Now there are some new options been added to the game. Um, you can get rid of the motion blur, which a lot of people don't like, and I don't usually don't use it. That doesn't give me headaches, but I just turn it off just for flow, I guess. I'm used to it being off. It's just a pretty good area for for that kind of loot over here. The um, the other thing is you can actually turn off all the for foliage, so all the grass. I just heard something. You can turn off all the grass and everything to make stuff easier to find, but I think that kind of cheapens the point. Now this is odd. I've I have never gone this long in the game without seeing a, any infected. This is the first mist event since the last update. Maybe that update makes the beginning of the game you see a, a lot less infected. Or maybe, oh, you know what it is. I'm so close to the farm and there's a, a bit, that farmhouse is just full of infected, like five or six or something like that in there. And maybe there's only a certain number of infected that can be spawned in at any time around you. And you were, when you're within being that close to the infected at the barn, it's not spawning additional infected in the area. Oh, which means I can just start getting stuff done. Oh, okay. I can deal with that. I need to keep my head on a swivel though, especially if I start getting too far away from the farm itself. But yeah, that farmhouse is full of infected. Now, another thing I'd be worried about trying to live there well, it's not living there. That's not the the place where you can actually place a marker down. And all that marker does is just a respawn point. That just indicates where you're going to spawn in when you when and if you die. Okay, well, that missed event went pretty quick. Let's get some resources because I need resources. I guess I can just leave them here. I can come get them later. Feather, nice. Now, the best force of feather... Uh, the best source of feathers is obviously chickens, but I need to either shoot them or catch them. And even when you catch them, you can't kill them when you're holding them. Oh, I need water, and fortunately I do have some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and eat, which also get because it's a fruit, and then drink that. And let's eat a blueberry. Which didn't do much, but at least it's something. Up. Uh, okay, it's like, it's like that bar was going back up. Now, it'd be nice if I could turn... Can I turn these logs into bark? So I can't strip them down to bark. So you can't make bark, you have to loot bark. Well, in that case, I just want to drop these on the ground. And I'm actually, I didn't get a lot of bark from that, did I? Oh, there's some stuff. Leaves and bark. Now, one thing I did find is when you are trying to get this stuff, you want to be chopping on a flat area of ground. You don't want to have a hill because when you're on a hill, stuff starts rolling down the hill. And it actually, I lost because I cut a tree out right in front of the house, middle of the night. I was, yeah, it was stupid, but I wanted to do it. And stuff was rolling down the hill. When I went looking for it, I didn't find the stuff down the hill. All right, please tell me I have enough to make oats. I'm not getting a lot of bark. See, I'm only getting a little bit of bark when I do this. See, I can only pick up the log. I can't, I can't, I can't take the bark off this log and that's wrong. I should be able to. Especially since bark is so important. Can I knock some bark off of the sump, maybe? Okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, no. I have to go for a standing tree to get bark. You know, something I haven't tried. There is something else I can do, and I don't know what you get from it. Um, I'm going to stop real quick. Down at 32%.
There's a harvest. I've seen it. I forget how to get to it. Harvest. Tool not found. So I'll need a... Let's pick up the log. And let's go to the harvest. And I can put this here. Fallen tree. And I need uh, my saw back at the, the house. Let's run back up to the house real quick. And we're going to see if I can... Because I guess that's how you harvest things. You can break things down. Things that you pick up. Like, you can harvest a gun now. If you have an extra gun, you can put it in the harvest menu. And I don't know what you need to actually break it down. But it'll give you scrap metal and components again. Because a lot of the crafting menu... A lot of the crafting stuff is scrap metal. And, but maybe if I put that um, log of wood in there and harvest it... It'll give me some of the resources that I'm desperately needing to like make cordage. Because without cordage, I can't do much right now. Plus, I want to see where the water is. I don't think that me playing with the water, just sticking it in the barrel is going to do anything. It shouldn't do anything. It'd been nice, though, if, the, if that campfire would allow me to do something with it. I don't think I can build anything that would help with the camp as in I can I put a maybe I could have put a the the barrel of uh the bucket of water on top of that and just cook it I guess I could have boiled but you don't have that option and I'm pretty sure I can't if I just put the water the plastic water thing in there it just melt anyways yeah see it's just gonna stay unsafe so that was probably a waste of time I don't think it's gonna change we'll see what happens maybe I'm I'm hope I'm wrong well no it would be kind of broken if I am, but I need I need a source of water. So, but I can make all right uh, amount. Let's make uh, well, I can only make one. How much am I gonna get from that one? I get one lashing. So I need oh, it's an update. It's still saying I have ten. I need that much right, which I have to cut down a ton of trees, which means axes are gonna become very important all right where is there it is there's my saw let's see what happens if i go to the harvest menu and i put this here that didn't work put that back in my inventory what other tool would i need uh, i've got a knife on me so i'm going to harvest ah get out of the loot go to harvest Tool not compatible tools. Okay, maybe that's a. Mm. Ah, it's the same thing. I guess I can't harvest that. I can craft with it. I can make firewood. I can make wood. Wood and wood. I'm not sure why there's two woods there. I don't know how much wood one person needs, but. I think that's too much wood. So I think the harvest menu is something that I'll have to try to to figure out. But I'm not going to do it. But let me see what happens if I put the gun in the harvest menu. Ah, okay. So it's ready. It, it will harvest that. I don't need a compatible tool. It's just ready to harvest. It'll give me two units, uh, two scrap units and one component unit. Okay. What about a stick? Nothing. A feather? No, I don't want to harvest that anyways. Rock. No. I was kind of interested to see what I can harvest now. What about basic? Uh, I'm trying to use... Burned my firewood up already, so that's... I guess I'll have to be cutting out a lot more trees. Ugh. I kind of don't feel good about that. It's just like a waste... Because I'm just not getting, you know, the bark's coming so slowly. I'll have to make an, I'll have to make some axe. I'm definitely going to have to craft an axe. So where can I craft an axe at? I can't craft an axe. So those axes that I was skipping when I was at other locations that you can claim for a house. You need those axes, guys. Do not, do not leave those axes laying around. I think I have one in my car. But my time is up. I know we didn't get too far today, but I wanted to try some stuff out. 
And unfortunately, that missed event, which was a bust, I'll have to see if my missed event keeps being a bust, I might have to restart. And if I do, I'm going to pick a different place to live because this place isn't very good. But it's just because of the bear. And I really have no defense against the bear for now. But as I already said, my time is up. Hey, guys and gals, this is a postscript. I just found out how to get bark from the trees really quick. You don't have to cut the trees down. Take a knife, smack the tree over and over again. All right. Every time you're hitting the tree. And now it's taking stamina off my knife. Boom, this knife's about to break. What happens when it breaks? Oh, well, I can sit here and punch it too, but, but look at all this bark. So bark isn't a problem. So now it becomes the leaves that are the issue. Ow. God, this would hurt in real life. Am I getting anything? No, okay. Did the knife, yeah, the knife just disappears. It doesn't break and go in your inventory. But now I've got a ton of bark. So bark is a lot easier to get. I have to get the leaves now. I gotta figure out if there's a, a, a fast way to get leaves. Hold on a second, let me grab s Oh, okay, yeah, I had another knife. I need to either find a knife or start making knives because knives become that much more important. Okay. So, is there a bush I can smack for? Thought I heard a bear. What about that? Nope. Gonna leave more bark. Okay, well, at least I found out about bark. That's all I wanted to show you. Back to your regularly scheduled outro. I've been critical. This has been Miss Survival. If you guys have enjoyed this content, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.